Welcome to Dwarven Kager, I'm Tanner, and today we will be opening up three of these Dominaria themed boosters from Walmart. Each of them has 135 cards in them, and uh, they're all the same color, so all red, all black, all blue. Alright. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dwarven Kager shenanigans, and if you are looking for a way to support what we do here at Dwarven Kager, check out that Patreon in the link below. Today I am drinking some Buffalo Trace and Coke. It's the weekend, and uh, yeah, pretty happy about that. Alright, so let's get cracking. Have you guys opened these? I've opened them like once. They're pretty cool. Um, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy out of them yet. I think they would be, like, super cool if you were trying to, um, trying to, like, build, like, a mono-themed deck. Okay, so I am remembering that opening these things was, like, the biggest pain in the ass known to man. Um, so I'm just gonna massacre the packaging. So I think you get, like, a certain amount of rares. I think, like, one to two rares. Um, and then the rest is kind of a mix-up between common and uncommon. So, let's get to cracking. Alrighty. Do like all of the awesome, um, oh yeah, and you can get, um, you know, uh, like, uh, no color cards in here as well, like artifact cards. Very cool card included in my Merfolk deck. It's actually working out super well. Um, Wizards Retort. Ah, I thought about running that in Merfolk, but I don't know, man. Don't know what we got here. So yeah, these are all cool cards. This was given to me as a gift, so very much appreciate that. And these are all Dominaria cards. So I'm curious to see what the rare is going to be. I've not seen anybody pull anything too crazy. Like, I don't, I've not seen anybody pull, like, a Karn out of one of these, but, uh, that's not saying we can't. Should we get into the rare soon? Hey, there it is. There it is. Oh, wait a sec, two rares? Oh, two rares. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, all right, so let's put that in the good pile. Um, what should we do? Let's do black. Okay, let's see if I can open this a little better than last time. I'll tell you what, man. They want to make sure that nobody is breaking into this shit. Like, this is so seriously packaged it is not playing around and you remember that time that i was like i'm gonna try to open this better this time and then i opened it the exact same way there's just no good way to open these although that did work out a little better all right boom 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 all right let's get going all righty um did a dominaria draft if you guys haven't uh, checked out. We did a couple like in-car videos on the way to said draft. Um, I went with uh, Justin and Blake and uh, had a good time. Now that being said, I don't know, man. I feel like all the rat colonies. I feel like this is a good set for draft, but I really don't think there's going to be a lot of uncommons that get to that crazy like fatal push seven dollar um, level. A lot of rat colonies, which is cool because you can have. I think as many of these in a deck as you want, which is fun. It's kind of like, uh, there's uh, another one. Icy Manipulator in draft. That car was the bomb. All right, what's our rare going to be, guys? What is our rare going to be? Oh, shit. Look at that. A mythic. A mythic, and it's multicolored. What? That's badass. That is super cool. Okay, okay, Tanner, we're going to do this. That's awesome. I didn't know you could get Mythics in these. Um, so the last one had two rares, um, and then that one had a Mythic. So that's crazy. Now, oh my gosh, did you guys just see that? That was like the easiest way to open this. Oh my gosh. So yeah, dude, that's awesome. Um, so I think this pack runs around seven or eight bucks, which is not bad. I think that's, that's somewhat reasonable. Um, but I mean, let's be honest, if you're cracking for value, you don't want to be doing that. You know, buy singles if you're going to build a deck. Love the saga cards. Check out that art. That is really cool. Bye bye with fire. Love that. Uh, I guess I'd be looking for a skirt prospector in here. It's a good deck. Uh, when rotation happens, which will be happening in the fall, I'm going to want to go um, 
mono red goblins as the deck. Oh, okay, so so this card is really good, right? Because it's mana, right? It's pretty cool. Anything that produces mana is going to be a good thing. So now I'm kind of excited. Like, we can get mythics. So I'm kind of excited to see what our rare is going to be. Is it going to be another mythic? Or am I going to get, you know, what am I going to get? I don't know. Nobody knows. Is this it? Okay. Should be coming up soon. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Boom. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to go back and edit this video. I will put the prices next to um, the rares and the mythic that I got, but um, not a bad, uh, not a bad little uh, set of pulls. That was fun. I don't know anything about that guy, but I can tell you that a six cost enchantment is probably not going to be worth a lot of money. This guy, that's really awesome. That is really cool. Then uh, I don't know about this one. Precognition field. You may look at the top card of your library. You may cast it if it's an instant or sorcery card. Hmm, that's pretty cool. And then the Antiquities of War. Beautiful art. Anyway, guys, had a lot of fun opening this with you. Till next time. Cheers.